My name is Paul Shaskin. Uh, I'm Linda Turner. My name is Roger Sherman. My name is Linda Green. My name is Frank Sunshadow Curtis. Hey, I'm uh, Emilio Vergara. I'm with the Hernando County Arts Council and I'm the chair of the council this year. Well, this is called Art in the Park, and it's the signature event of the uh, Hernando County Arts Council uh, and Hernando County. Uh, we uh, are this year 30% bigger than we were last year, and we're 30% bigger than that last year. So we're 60% or 100% bigger than the last two years. So we're doing good. We're here at beautiful Tom Varden Park. I just had uh, one of our exhibitors stop us and tell us this is the best place that he's ever exhibited uh, here in Brooksville. This is our 31st annual uh, a celebration and it's much more expanded, many more exhibitors and plus of course the Hernando Symphony Orchestra this afternoon. This is our 31st annual so it's been around for quite a while. Uh, a couple of years ago we had 62 exhibitors out here and this year we have 120 so it's really gone very well and the artists really enjoy being out here because it's a lovely venue. And I'm a photographer and uh, I print my uh, pictures on canvas and I sell framed and unframed photography, mostly nature, a lot of florals. My gallery back in Michigan is very bright. My floors are bright turquoise and then I have a lot of bright pink, yellow and orange florals. Um, I shoot just about anything. I do some abstract things. I have different collections. Uh, I also put my uh, photography on uh, gift items such as mugs, note cards, notepads, pen and, uh, pen and paper sets. Um, I'm trying new things all the time. I've just done uh, pillows and puzzles, so those are two of my newest products. I'm here today at the, the uh, Art in the Park in Brooksville and with my photography and my music. I, I play Native American flute and record. The uh, recordings are all with a Native American flavor. Uh, I write Native American children's stories, so a lot of that comes out in the, in the CDs. Uh, it's all done from the, from the head. I, I, I don't have anything written down. I, I don't need it. I play all the instruments on the CDs, uh, guitar, bass, drums, whatever it takes. And, uh, and I have a multiple of, of CDs that I've done. And I do it in my home studio. The, uh, the CDs are finished and they're not that fancy. They're not done in some factory. Everyone's done by hand. And they come out pretty good. I've been painting since the 70s and I do mostly acrylic today. I, I started out with oils but today I do acrylic. I mostly do landscapes but sometimes I branch out and try something else just to see what I can do and I mostly like old trees, old barns, that's really my favorite. 
and I try to make my paintings peaceful. I want people to be able to think that they could walk in there and be at peace, and that's what I really try to do. Hi, my name is Sandy Hadsock. I'm a teacher, an art teacher. I'm presently working at Explorer K-8, teaching kindergarten through fifth grade art. I am the administrator for the art show here in Hernando County, the student exhibit of the art show here. The student exhibit includes works from everywhere from kindergarten all the way through college and AP level courses. And the teachers work with their students all year long, get their work prepared, and then they bring it in to the show. So all age levels. We include the public schools and we also invite private schools, home schools, uh, religion-based schools, to faith-based schools to participate. I'm always astonished at the quality of the work, especially the, especially the older students. The high school, college, AP level work is usually just outstanding. It's, some of it is stunning. It's surprising that it's someone that's 18 years old or younger doing the work. And you can see in the elementary and middle school, you can see their skills developing. They're in that developmental, burgeoning, stage and then you really see them coming into much more blossom and fruition when they get into the older grades. We have some excellent, excellent teachers here that can help guide them and mold them and focus them into the quality that they're capable of producing. So I've been to many, many uh, art shows, and this venue, this park, is almost like it was made for an art show. It is an art show. The quality, uh, as some of our people have mentioned to me this morning, the quality of the exhibitors is exceptional. Uh, even in the crafts department, the, the crafts are very high quality. I absolutely love the atmosphere, the trees, the, the um, peace that's here. It, this is peaceful. I mean, it's just, you couldn't ask for a better weekend ever, ever. And so it's a beautiful location and fits right in with what I do as far as the music and everything else, you know, and my photography. So, and I'd love to come back. Uh, yesterday, we were able to, you know, take your time and really show your product nicely. So it's a very relaxing show. It's beautiful here. We've enjoyed the park a lot. So yeah, I think we'll, we'll probably come back next year. So I'd like to see it grow. We want to make this an even bigger event all, all over. We were having a difficult time this year getting in 120 spaces, but uh, it's a big park and I'm sure we could figure out how to make it grow. I want to see next year, I want to see it 30% bigger than it is today. Uh, I want to see more artists, more fine art, uh, more food vendors to, to, to feed the people here because they come here to eat and to see the art. And the crafters here are, I'm surprised at the quality of the crafters and the, uh, the creativity of what we see here. So more of the same, keep building, and uh, I think we can do that.